Sophia's going to make it. She is. You know something? It's almost awe-inspiring. Here you are, tied up in knots because of Sophia's condition. And yet you lived apart for over a year now. The son you don't have what we had and just, uh, stop caring. Or stop loving. That's exactly what I was thinking. When most people divorce, it's a miracle if they can at least be civil to each other. But the connection between you and Sophia is an unwavering one. I remember when I was growing up, the relationship between you and Sophia was a source of such rage for me. I was so jealous because of my perception that Sophia was usurping my mother's rightful position in our lives. And no matter how often she tried to reassure me that she loved me, I wouldn't hear. I wish I could have been a better person then. Oh, son. You're just a little boy. True, and I grew up to be a man. And what was my excuse then? If I hadn't been quite so self-absorbed, maybe I would have been able to use your relationship as an inspiration to something admirable instead of something bitter. I spend so much time being angry and vengeful. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste. We had some pretty rough times, didn't we? Mm -hmm. A lot of it was over Sophia. But we weathered it. You're not such an angry young man anymore. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. You smoothed out the edges. You're a good guy. And when I look at you, I'm very proud to call you my son. Thank you. Grace it. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> 